Hey guys, JNM here with a new part of the Unity 3D Game Kit series. This one is about death volumes and a bit of level design. We start with a simple level we created in the previous part. I removed the environment assets that we added and there's just a terrain plane and Alan, the player. This is the terrain from the isometric top view and what I want to start with is to add some rock assets. I will arrange some big cliffs around the player so that she can only walk in one direction and there will be a passage that she could walk through but I will add an asset pool in the terrain at this area that the player can't jump over because it will be too big. Okay, so let's start by adding the cliff parts. Just drag them into the scene, move and rotate them so that they are arranged around the player. The keyboard shortcut to switch to the move tool by the way is W and for rotate it's the E key. Ok, this looks nice, now we'll add some parts, some smaller parts here at the top to create this kind of passage. Then I start the game and look around. We are surrounded by rocks, that's fine, because then it's obvious in which direction the player has to move. Ok, now let me show you how to add an asset pool to the terrain plane. I select the terrain and then open Pro Builder by pressing this green button. Then I switch to Face Selection so that we can select the faces of the terrain's mesh. I select these ones here and choose to subdivide faces from the Pro Builder's window. Why do I do this? It's because I want to carve into the terrain here with the poly brush and I want to add a bit more geometry so that I can create a smoother hole for the asset pool with more details. Ok, now I close the Pro Builder window and then I open the poly brush window. I dock this here to the left and then activate the scene view again and with the terrain selected I activate the poly brush. And now I can lower the terrain at the area where I want the asset pool to be. Just hold the control key pressed and move the mouse at this location. I increased the radius and the strength a bit so that I can carve easily into the mesh. You can see this here when I zoom in a bit how the height of the terrain is decreased. As I said, when you hold the control key pressed, you subtract height from the terrain and without the key pressed, you add height. The next thing I do now is to add the asset prefab to this area. You find it in the interactables folder of the prefabs. Now I scale this asset part so that it fits the hole in the terrain. After that, I select the poly brush again and refine the edges of the asset pool a bit. This means I'm adding or subtracting height where it is needed. Alright, I'm happy with that. Now when I start the game and enter the asset pool, the character dies. But this is just because there is a huge death volume by default added to the level. You can see the position of the death volume here when I change to front auto view. But I don't want the player to die in the asset pool because of this default death volume. So I move this downwards so that it is lower than the asset pool. Then I'm going to add a dedicated death volume to the asset pool by pressing the add component button. And then I find the death volume component. And when I start again and Ellen enters the asset pool, she dies because of this new death volume. 
Okay, now how about using the terrain part that we added in the previous tutorial and let the player use it to jump over the asset. So I move it over here and rotate it and then I start again and let the player jump over the asset. Great, in the next part I will show you how to add a moving platform for crossing this asset pool. So hope you liked this tutorial series and find it useful and if you do then please let me know and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next one.